The United States and South Korea began major air exercises on Monday involving 130 warplanes from both the countries to simulate 24-hour wartime operations. The annual drills, called Vigilant Defense, will run until Friday, featuring variants of the F-35 stealth fighter from both the United States and South Korea, among other aircraft, South Korea's Air Force said. The drills come at a very concerning time as North Korea has been stepping up military cooperation with Russia in what the United States and its Asian allies have condemned as Pyongyang's efforts to advance its military capabilities in return for armed support to Moscow. North Korean Foreign Minister Choi Son Hui said on Saturday it was the steadfast will of Pyongyang to expand ties with Russia, adding that their relations will act as a powerful strategic element if security in the region is endangered. North Korea has long condemned joint drills between the US and South Korea as a rehearsal for invasion and proof of hostile policies by Washington and Seoul. We will maintain the best combat readiness to immediately respond to and strongly punish any provocation by the enemy through an intense training simulating an actual situation, South Korea's military said in a statement. The drills are aimed at improving interoperability between the two militaries by performing major air missions such as air-to-surface, live fire drills, defensive counter-air operations and other emergency training. South Korea on Friday warned Russia of retaliation if Moscow transfers its missile technology to North Korea. Foreign Minister Park Jin confirmed Seoul's warning to Russia regarding missile or weapons technology transfer to North Korea during a parliamentary audit but did not specify South Korea's response plans. The US reported that Pyongyang had shipped over 1,000 containers of military equipment and munitions to Moscow after the summit between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and Russian President Vladimir Putin in September.